his daughter was crying and he I was kind of crying and he leans down and he goes, some days you win, some days you lose. Bro, 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 stop, I'll cry. Stop, 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 <laughs> stop. Stop. TG71. 71. Hot, hot, hot. What's up? Hot, hot. Hey, uh, I think I like the Pro Bowl again. What? <laughs> I well, do. No. Yeah, no, this it's is not just, bad. This it's is, not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. This is just this is just contrarian Ben here. This is all that is. No, nah, I mean they they were having a good time. It'd be different if they weren't into it, but they were kind of into it. So I was like, all right, f- all right. Oh, just I, I guess my like 2008 high school football colors are showing, but to me it's all just grab assing. I do kind of like some grab ass. They're just grab assing around out there. Fucking, <laughs> you want to play tug of war? <laughs> they being knuckleheads. Come on, dude. Bunch of knuckleheads out there. Knuckleheads right. grab assing for the Pro Bowl games. Right, Frank? Easy. I mean, yeah, nothing's, nothing's beating the uh, like actual them playing football, but... Uh, what are we gonna do, bro? It's never gonna it's never gonna go back to that. I think that's a load there's, of bullshit. There's no Pro Bowl solution. That's yeah, seven because up. They, they they took the toothpaste out of the out of the tube, man. Now it's out. You can't stuff that stuff back in there. Now now that you stop playing, which I think is uh, you know, I get it. That's players don't want to get hurt, whatever. But I say just don't even have the games at all. Just have like the little, uh, just have the little like events. Yeah, just have like a party. I don't know. Just have not it be, the, I mean, not the game game, but like you the. Don't, you don't have an all pro bowl, like an all pro game, right? They just get named to the all pro team. The pro bowl is just the lesser version of that. I kind of like, I kind of like the little accuracy contests and stuff like that. Yeah, do that stuff. That's okay. Fine. Okay. Okay. That's what I like. That's what oh, I like. Move it back to Hawaii for God's sake. Eh, yeah. I did. I was watching a clip and it was just Michael Vick just doing the accuracy contest. And he looked like, like his NFL street character. Hey, and if you're going to like make him just wear shorts and a t-shirt and like the visors and stuff, that's fine. But get rid of like the the charcoal gray what go back give me the red for the AFC stars, and the blue baby. for the give NFC me the stars stars red for AFC blue for <laughs> NFC burpy boy that's it. i love you maybe i just like the drip Whoa. maybe that's it yeah i mean jalen hurts didn't look bad but when does jalen hurts not look bad true i mean they just i don't, I don't know i like i like football players wearing hats running down the sidelines that's just what i like no one like, makes a visor or a bucket hat look cooler than a football player. So even, uh, not even fully backwards. It's just like hanging out there. It's just like yeah. crooked as shit upside down. And you're like, yeah, that place. National championship style. It's just like this. It's like Will Smith style. Oh, yeah. Best okay. gloves, cleats. Mm. Huge sunglasses. Yeah. All have a deal with sunglasses. Chains. Now we're talking. Now, now we're now we're pro bowling. Now we're pro. Bowling. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dave. but a funny thing like <laughs> NASCAR was back this weekend, and they were. Uh, it was like I don't know, twenty laps left to go in the race, and so of course everybody was kind of like banging around, right? There's a lot of traffic, right? People trying to make a move and everything, and one of the announcers is like man is that is this the class of the coliseum or are we out on the 405 right now (laughs) like the interstate yeah you won't see that kind of rush hour traffic on the 405 and then there's like a beat and then the other one's like oh i don't know i've had a fair share in my day (laughs) it's just like it's just like a, a basketball announcer when somebody pulls up like near half court and they're like whoa from Evansville oh okay yeah 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 or Jesus. when somebody hits a baseball and they're just like you know they're in New York and it's like oh he got a hold of that 
one. That one's going to the Jersey side. Is this guy on the 405 or what? Yeah. Dude, I've never I, I've never paid attention to NASCAR and now I guess that's because I've never watched a NASCAR race in my life, but I've never uh even heard an announcer. They're about what you'd expect. Yeah, they are. They all got a little twang up there. They're excited to be up there. It's 405. Just still nothing beating Joe the show from NBA Street for me. Come on, yeah. come on, come on. Hello, operator. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. But I was just, I was sitting there Saturday night watching that. And I was like, oh, they really did it. They really did the 405, the interstate analogy when doing a racing broadcast. I mean, that's what I always think about. Like, what are those guys like during real traffic, you know? Yeah. They get after it. I don't know if it translates, you know, like, I don't know if their skills like racing on an oval and a NASCAR translates to like driving a Ferrari on the interstate. You think they're cutting people off and shit on, on the actual highway? Probably. Yeah. I don't know. Like if you're, if you're a cop and you see somebody like weaving and cutting people off and you pull them over and it's like, Jeff Gordon, are you like, all right, God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you earned it. You earned try to, it. Try to be cool cop there with Jeff. All right. Oh, I'd be cool cop all the time, dude. I get it. Cool cop. I I'd be so, it, I'd be so cool cop. Hey, just take it easy next time. All right. I can honestly yeah. say I've only gotten, I've only gotten warnings. I don't think I've ever gotten a ticket. Really? Yeah, because I, I drive, like, very slow, I think. Or maybe I'm just really careful. I never wanted to say it, though, because I don't want to jinx myself. But I'm very just, like, trying to pay attention, I guess. Because I think I know how stupid I am. Actually, I know, I know uh, the reason I don't want to do any of that is because I hate paperwork so much that I'm like, I don't Ooh. even want to. I don't want to risk it. Paperwork holds me back from a lot of things. It's fair. Yeah. You know, buying, selling a car. I'm like, uh, hey, no thanks. Sounds like you're never buying a house then. And I'm perfectly okay with that. You are buy you a house. Are, you're sitting you at that. You're sitting at that table for six to eight business days. Really? Yeah. I thought you were going right, to say so hours. This is, the, this is the. Okay. Now here we need this. All right, so now this is going to be only on your head for the next 50 years. Why not just like one signature on an iPad and it's like copy and paste. They're kind of like reading you through it. Boom, 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 boom. We're still signing paper, babe. Paperwork, Papa. I feel like for that, you know, you need you need it to be really official, you know. Like you don't want the president signing a bill into law that is on an iPad. Oh, I'd be, I'd be down with that. D digital signature, a little, a little emoji after. <laughs> That's president Polizzi right there. Constitution. President <laughs> Polizzi behind the, behind the, 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 you know, the, the big desk in the oval office. They're sign. bringing him in the bills to sign. Can we get a, I'll just do it with my finger and I'll just like copy and paste everything. Can we get the salute emoji after my name? American flag, fire, 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 gas, gas, gas. <laughs> That'd be so sick. Who doesn't want that bill? Oh shit, he's excited about signing this one. Emojis after it. <laughs> You'd be the worst president. Oh my god, if I was the president. <laughs> I'd be like, I don't know, just do everything normal, I guess. State what are we changing? Union. What are we changing? Has anybody ever changed anything? Doesn't feel like it. Cool. Save the union. All right. Uh, we're sending the Pro Bowl back to Hawaii. Sir, this isn't. We're going to put double the stars on the Pro Bowl uniforms. No, no, no. I'm going to change everything. I'm going to change everything. New sheriff in town. This is what <laughs> we're doing. Uh, the NFC is wearing their home jerseys, normal jerseys, in a way. AFC is wearing their away jerseys. 
Just white, just home against away. We're not having be, Pro Bowl jerseys. That'd be cool. We're doing an NBA All Star 2002 style. Any so there would just be like a patch that signifies that it's the Pro Bowl, or it would it be a different helmet, or maybe just um, the cleats. Low key, maybe just nothing, bro. Maybe just uh, like an N or an A on their shoulder, maybe. But like you can tell who's who. We don't. The field is really where it, it's Pro Bowl. You know, I'm down with that. Because then you get like the rivalries in play, you know, like imagine back in the day, if you had uh, a home Troy Palomalu and a home Ed Reed in the same secondary together. It's not that like was, you can't tell yeah. the teams apart. I mean, that's like, a, that's a dream. Everybody's just like, wow. Can you imagine? Boom. Steelers Ravens working together right there in the secondary. Oh my God, dude. Just, uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm hey, trying hey. to think of a good one. <laughs> Just away Ty Law against a home Randy Moss. Randy Moss. Sorry. Purple jersey. <laughs> yeah. How about Wearing some high top Jordans. High Let's top go. Jordan shoes. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, I mean, why not? Let's do it. Hey, here you go. Home Brett Favre <laughs> handing off to home Adrian Peterson. Both on the Vikings? No, no. I'm talking Packers, Brett Favre. With I like know, rookie year AP. For, I, watched, I watched something on TikTok the other day and I saw that uh, Brett Favre and Adrian Peterson were on the same team at the same time and I almost lost my shit. Yeah, dude, that's the team that... Are you kidding me? That's the Super Bowl, man! Yeah. <sighs> I'm down Throws with that, across the field. I'm down. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I can get down with that for sure. I think that would be, it would bring the, you know, it would bring the, what we always look for, a little class with a little cool. And it's chaos too. Cause you're like, what? Cause some teams have white pants on and shit and you're like, whoa, you know what I mean? Another C. Yeah. Classy, cool chaos. CCC. Can you CC me on that? Can you CCC me on that? Are you drinking a seven up? A zero sugar Sprite. Okay, yeah, I was about to say I haven't seen a seven up since like oh, beers. Yeah, seven up so nineteen ninety eight. Last time I had a seven up, I was throwing up in my childhood bathroom. Yeah, with some saltine crackers. Uh huh. It was good, it was like, man. It's like Nothing Malcolm like- in the middle on the TV in the front room or something. With what on? Like Malcolm in the middle. Nah, it was uh. It was like a weird weekend where I had like chiller was over and like you ever get sick when your friend is over. Oh, that's a tough one. And I'm like, bro, I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm like actually sick. He's like trying to slip like crackers under the door. He like didn't know what to do at my house. I was like, thanks, dog. But like, I'm kind of dying in here. Like I didn't invite you in, but it like smells like throw up. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I'm like sleeping on the tile. Trying to do everything you can to like make it through because you. I've been looking forward to this sleepover. I'm like, damn, dude. I don't know what we're going to do today. Like, I know we want to, like, our whole goal every single time we were hanging out. I was, when I was hanging out with a friend as a kid at my house was just to go to my neighbor's and play basketball on his Gorilla basketball hoop. Yeah. That was, like, peak. Like, if we can pull this off, we're good. Yeah. Because if not, we got to play on my weird, like, huffy basketball hoop in my driveway. The plastic backboard. Plastic backboard, but it was see-through, but it was, like, not legit, really. <laughs> you know? At least you had the see-through. I didn't even have that. Yeah. I was like, dude, I <laughs> I was begging my dad for a basketball hoop. Like, come on. He, but he didn't want to buy me one because he didn't want it to, like, kill the grass. Yeah. That little square area. He was like, I, 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 don't, I can't do it. Why can't, can you just play with it in the driveway, like, on the on the slope, like, at the top? I had one of those. I had one of those joints that like you had to put sand in the bottom of it to like weigh it down and keep it there. So then when it would rain, it would just be it would be even heavy. You weren't moving that shit anywhere, dude. I know. Hey, being sick for real though is one thing. Those times where you were faking sick at a friend's house, or even worse, you think maybe they were pulling the fake sick card on you. I don't think that ever happened to me, man. Damn. I never... You never, you never fake sick somewhere? 
Just like school and shit. I never really got to uh, go over to my friends much, so I wouldn't fake sick. That'd be. I think that'd be crazy because their mom would like be trying to help you. No, no, no. It's not that much of a production I'm talking about. Because it's a fine line, though. You're faking sick when like you're somewhere and you don't want to be there anymore. Uh huh. And you want to go home, but you can't just come out and say, "Hey, sorry, man. I I really just want to go home." God, that would be so, that'd be so great. (laughs) Dude, my mom could kind of like, she couldn't wait to pick me up. Like she wanted to pick me up at all times. So I could have like called over there and been like, can you pick me? There was not one moment in my life where I was ever out somewhere with my friends and I wanted to leave. Cause I think it was a rare occasion that I even got to do it. But you, you were like, you played the, I want to go home card. Dude, I, I can't believe you. I mean, I think everybody's had. A little bit of the going to the bathroom. Oh, man, my stomach's just really messed up. I don't know. I think I better uh, go home. Have you done that on me? No. <laughs> because we're, we're, this is only, this only habit because at this point in our life, you're just like, hey, I think I'm going to bounce, dog. And you're like, all right, yeah, cool. Thanks for coming. No big deal. Yeah. But back when you're like 11, there's no just, hey, I'm going to bounce, dog. I'm going to call my mom. This shit's weak. Nah, dude. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to be there forever. Honestly. It's, uh, you're, you're, you're at the hands of the environment. So sometimes you got fake sick. Everybody's house was so much more fun than mine that I was like, yo, I can't believe this. I would sit and play somebody else's video game system for like four hours. Like, well, they could have been like at their grandma's, bro. I would have been at their house like. Just glad dude. to be here. Dude. Man, I guess I was just lucky then, man, because I'm lucky in the sense that like I, you know, I was going to my friends a lot, like, but sometimes you just had to have those. Like you had the maybe that's the email question in this week, uh, for the clubhouse is just like a story about when you had to fake sick or when when you had to leave a friend's house, what extent did you go to to get the hell out of there? For Ben, apparently nothing. For me, it was always just like a, usually with the stomach, right? Because it's never like a fever thing. Or how can you really tell stomach bug? You know, it's like a soft tissue issue. Who yeah. Knows? Dude, for a, for a couple of times, like we'd be playing football in the backyard. I remember my face was like, my nose and lips were bleeding. And my, my friend's mom was like, okay, you probably got to go home. And I was like, nah, dog, fourth quarter. Like, I got to get back out there. Like, I was doing anything to stay. I think I was that kid that would, like, stay too long and not know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that I think about it. Cause hey, they one of those. Oh, yeah, I've had those, too. I've, I've had those as well. I might have been that kid that's like, he might not get out much. I had a few of those, though. And it was always, you know, because you know my mom, she didn't handle that shit. And it was always like the kids that like their parents wouldn't send them with like any money or anything. Like, oh. so then if we like went out to eat or had pizza, you know, whatever it was, like they were footing the bill. And it was always the kid that would like, he would order an appetizer too. just had no sense of awareness. Right. Oh, like okay. when I would go, if, if my friend's parents took me out to dinner while I was staying the night there, I'm like, water. I'll order yeah. a kid's meal if I have to. I'm not Bare even touching minimum. the appetizer. Like, I'm just lucky to be here. I don't want to do any of that. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I'd get some, some pals, usually from, like, baseball teams. It was never, like, my homies because yeah. we're always on the same page. It was like if I was having a kid sleep over from my baseball team or something, <laughs> we'd go to, like, B-dubs or some shit yeah. like that, and he'd be getting, you know, fried pickles. Like As and an then appetizer? You're a spoiled as an brat, dude. Like, a thing of 15 wings and just wouldn't even just like walk out of there, barely even saying thank you. I'm like, you're a psycho. Now yeah, I feel bad and weird because my parents are like, I mean, yeah, we're, you're with us for the night, but like, God damn, you're going insane. You're going crazy. No, it was always very respectful. I remember I went, uh, my uncle took me to Taco Bell one time when I was a, when I was a kid and I, I asked had him, an uncle, huh? I didn't even know you had an uncle. Isn't that weird? Yeah, kind of. It felt weird saying it. <laughs> my uncle took me to Taco Bell, bro. And I was like, uh, we were in the drive-thru and I was real like, 
I was like, dude, uh, can we buy stuff that's not on the dollar menu? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> what a what? revelation. And I, I didn't know what to get because it's like my first time ever at Taco Bell. I was like, I'll just have what you're getting, dude. Just ended up with like a nachos bel grande with like so many peppers on it. And I was like, I don't even know what these are, you know? I don't even want it. <laughs> What's your uncle's name? Hey, 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 hey. Get this. Get this. All right. Hold on. Ready? Hold on. Dad's side or mom's side? Mom's side. Ooh, uh, yeah, it's not going to be an Italian name. No. Uh, mom's side. Three letters. Mom, three your letters. Mom, your mom's name's Amy. Your uncle's name is. Three letters. Stu. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Pat. <laughs> Uncle Pat? Uncle, Uncle Pat, Pete? bro. Not bad. Uncle Pat's a G, straight up. Cross country and track coach. You get down with an Uncle Pat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I don't know why I was blanking on Pat. That seems like it should be. Because I was going to say Joe, but I was like, that's your dad's name. I thought you were going to nail it. I mean, there's a Todd. Todd. I thought you were going to go with Todd. It's not T-O-D. I mean, Stu's four letters do it, isn't it? S-T-U. Oh, when you said Stu, I was like, you must not have heard me say the three letter thing. I, I, thought, it was I thought Stu is S-T-E-W. <laughs> That's like beef stew, dog. I know. I was just thinking Cordell Stewart, my bad. <laughs> K-10, K-10 always on my mind. <laughs> Slash. Bro, speaking of him, I saw he posted the other day his uh, like player intro bio thing for Super Bowl 30 and it literally had Cordell Stewart wide receiver slash quarterback slash running back somebody was thinking wait he made it slash made it to a Super Bowl yeah he was I believe a rookie uh, when the Steelers made it to uh, Super Bowl 30 against the Cowboys that Super Bowl's sad to me for some reason did the Steelers yeah, win? the Steelers lost <laughs> oh, okay yeah okay yeah and at the end of the game, Bill Cower was like, all right, let's go home. He like had his daughter. I was like, I'm going to yeah. kill myself. Dude, he goes, his daughter was crying and he I was kind of crying and he leans down and he goes, some days you win, some days you lose. Bro, bro, bro. Stop. I'll cry. Stop. 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 <laughs> stop. With the goatee. Uh, or he says something like, you, you win some, you lose some. Like one of the, along those oh lines. Oh my God, bro. That hit, that hit hard, bro. Clubhouse knows. Clubhouse knows what we're talking about. If any, dude, my whole family could pass away. I, I won't even say anything, but Bill Cower says that on NFL films, bro. <laughs> yeah. Good Ain't night. <laughs> Good night, dog. Ooh, that one hits different. That one cleared my sinuses. But then he, he like, you go from that to then when they won it in 05 at Super Bowl 40, 10 years later. And he gets all of his daughters, they're grown at this point. He gets all of them together and they just won. They're all in the field. And he's like, all right, on three, on three, we'll do a big high five. And then he's like, one, two, three. And they all just like, ah, like it's the most awkward, weird thing yeah. ever. But it's like a dad who just won the Super Bowl. What are you going to do? Uh, yeah, I'm good on that. <laughs> Can't you just, watch. Can't you just would have walked away. I would have been out. <laughs> bro why are dads so weird man <laughs> dad's dad's trying to pull when dad's trying to plan shit it just doesn't work yeah i think about that a lot right now as <laughs> the father of a one and a half year old and a really any time newborn and i'm like man like one day i'm gonna be you know they'll be like 18 and 17 and i'll just be like the big dumb dad Right, eh. like trying to do family activities together, and they'll like oblige, you know, because it's like oh, dad wanted to, but they'll still be like making fun of me so hard, you know. Yeah, that's just that's just how it goes, man. Because yeah, it's be just make, a ride, of, just ride a passage. You're gonna make fun of your son all the time, and then he's get, one day he's gonna start getting witty. <laughs> I, I don't think I have it in me. I think I'm just going to be like the big, goofy, lovable dad who just like is so in love with his kids and they'll just like shit on me. It's the best you know? dad. Best dad. 
Big dumb funny dad. Come on. <laughs> Who doesn't love that guy? Hopefully. Big dumb funny dad. Everybody but, loves that guy except his kids. Oh, my dad. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's true. I'm like, dude, your dad's the shit. Like, I think your dad's dope as fuck. And you're like, he's not that cool, bro. <laughs> I mean, I've never said that. Like, he listens yeah, to this. I know, so now but, he's going to, that's going to come up the next time I, I see him. Like, I've never said that, dad. I'm always it's just what it, it is. What it, you know, you're like, yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's, yeah. you always, not that you don't think he's cool. You just downplay it. And I'm like, all right. Yeah. Right. But he is right, cool. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. 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 <laughs> dude i watched the grammys last night what i've never that thought is i've never known that the grammys were on until it's over and i see a bunch of shit on twitter and i'm like <laughs> yeah it was wild what though you watched it from start to end just about i i flipped on i've been watching true detective on hbo and they had a new episode last night so i flipped i watched probably a solid two and a half hours though Really? Like oh, commercials Grammys. too? Yeah. Just cause? I mean, Rye wanted to watch it. You know, she yeah. likes it. You know, and then and this week we got the Super Bowl, right? So it's like, oh, you know, I'll, uh, I'll watch that. And I'll watch the Super Bowl, you know, kind of play Super Bowl's this Sunday? Yeah. What are you doing for it? Sorry. I, I know you're, you're about to say something about the Grammys. No, it's all right. Don't. It's just a, like, it's an interesting... You know, because for a lot of people, that is their Super Bowl. The Grammys? the Grammys? Right. Yeah. Or like the Oscars. You know? <laughs> a lot of good performances. That was cool, like having a bunch of different performances on there that you're watching and everything. Trevor Noah did a pretty decent job, I thought. Like, uh-huh. wasn't in the way, wasn't like... You know what he did is he, he won over Taylor Swift in that crowd, which automatically meant he won. Because... At the Golden Globes, there's a whole to do because the hosts there like had some bad jokes about Taylor Swift and the NFL, and they all bombed. Yeah, and that so then he was just screwed. But Trevor Noah and his crew learned from that, and so they flipped the script, and they were very supportive of Taylor, and they made a funny joke and kind of observation about the whole her and NFL thing, and they got her on camera laughing, and so hey, then you're like, win. Oh, they, that's a win. It's a dub. So, so he, he did a good job. Um, but I don't know what I'm doing for the Super Bowl, bro. Because, I mean, the baby. Like, we just, we were literally on call at all times. Like, just waiting at all times. Ooh, for, uh, that's a good scenario. Come. So, like, we don't have any plans set in stone yet. Because, like, we very well could be at the hospital. That would be one which would, that you which would be a memorable, uh, Which would be a memorable Super Bowl, you know. No, it's good. You're just not doing anything. Dude, always being on call has got to be <sighs> like you never know when it's happening. Yeah. I don't know. A Super Bowl, that's just kind of like whatever. That's good. I mean, that's what I do every single year. I'm like, I don't even know if I'm watching it or not. No, yeah. Like I said, like it'd definitely be different, interesting, and obviously the priority would be Rye and the baby. Um, But Got a couple options in the back pocket if uh, the baby's either here or, you know, doesn't come. So, let's we'll talk. See. Nothing too crazy. Dude, I meant to tell you this. I am fully in on, like, thinking about trying to look into all of the above a smoker. Oh, dude, you, you're, you're 100% married guy now. You're 100% family. <laughs> you're, you're getting... Oh man, you're locked in. <laughs> you're like you're like one of those egg grills away from being big dumb funny dad. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it, bro, but you're locked in. That's good. I don't think that we're going to go the big green egg route. There's 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 a couple others out there. My father-in-law has one. We've kind of looked into, we got, you know, got some experience. I've kind of seen how that operates a little bit. Um, you kind of got a nice grill. I'm thinking about it from the 4th of July, these guys video. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, but there's just I'm, like, I hate to say it, but I'm just really like, I, I really into like smoked meats, like some, like some, <laughs> like some pulled pork, you know, some brisket. 
He's like, it's just so good. It's you so brisket, good. bitch. <laughs> you brisket, bitch. That's insane. I never it's thought ha- I'd hear you say that, man. Not it's that happening. it's bad. I just never thought you'd be. <laughs> it's happening, man. That's good. It's, uh, I don't know. I mean, I've been I mean, like I said, I've been making these steaks, making these pork chops, making all this stuff. And now I need, I, need to, I need to round out the, I need to round out the, the arsenal. I need to get the smoke going. Brisket, bro. You know, I need to cue the smoke. Are you just going to throw a pig <laughs> on there one day? I don't think that's how it works. Oh, that's not it. Dude, I remember I think- going to like a, like a, like an NFL tailgate and seeing just a pig all hog tied. Well, yeah, I'm not trying to like recreate Bill's mafia in my backyard, but Oh man, that's what I was gonna I was hoping for that. If I get a big old slab of it, throw it all on there, let it simmer, let it do all that shit. It's just the dude's crock pot. Yeah. You know, I think it's time. It's like I don't know why I just I wanna wrap so I wanna marinate and wrap some of those meats in aluminum foil. And let it sit in the smoker and then open it up and just have all the deliciousness good. Like, I want to do that so badly. And I don't know why or when that switch flipped, but it just did. Do you, uh, like, how long does it take to smoke? Smoke. No idea. <laughs> I, it, you, it can be, like, overnight. It can be, I mean, hours. You can do it for Depending on what you're smoking. Yeah, I'm thinking about like a like a Sunday where the Steelers play a night game. You go out there at like 10 a.m., coffee in hand, lay down the lay down the brisket, do whatever you got to do. I don't even know how it, how you do it, but then it just cooks all day. Pre-game starts. Now we're talking. Let's dude. eat some hog. Let's go. <laughs> See how great does that sound? I don't know, it's just the coffee in the morning for me. Really, that that, that sold me. Dude, I, I do anything with a coffee, and I'm like, yeah, it sounds good. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to, here, run run against this brick wall. I'm going to shoot a fucking sniper rifle. I, yeah, I'm like, all right, can you give me a coffee? Got one of those in hand? Sure. Can you make sure there's a straw in there, too, please? Oof. Can't drink anything what? without a straw. You, you have also got me. You have also gotten me on the hot coffee straw gang. For some reason, I don't, I don't even know. What was I doing before that, you know? We're just drinking out of our ma- from can to mouth. Yeah. Coffee cup to mouth. To no one's surprise, my sister and her husband have given me a lot of shit for it. Oh, yeah. Everybody, everybody gives me shit for drinking out of a straw, but I'm like, uh, just it's more fun. I think so, too. It's easier. How many times have you gone to take a drink of your coffee with no straw and it's got one of those lids with a little opening and something fucked up happens. You go too quick. It kind of falls out there. Like I'm always getting coffee all over myself because I'm going to like pour it back and then it comes out of the little hole. You do a straw, take care of it. No problem. It's easy. It's right there. And like, you can't find that little hole sometimes, you know, the teeth, you gotta do that weird thing. Trying to find the hole in the coffee. Yeah, there it is. You gotta rot- you know what rotate. Rotate. I mean? Yeah, you don't ever have to rotate with the straw. There it is, babe. You know where that shit is. Except for you, do look pretty like stupid when you're trying to when you can't like jabbing yeah, yourself I mean, in the face and shit. You were kind of trying to do that right there. Yeah, but like you know, I was just giving you the reenactment because sometimes yeah. I am like, right. That's some late night stuff. Roll over to the side of the bed. Dude, I actually have one of the, uh, what is it called? The, damn, I can't think of the name. The, the thermos thing with the water. What is it called? Stanley? Stanley Cup. I have one. Do you really? Yeah. Is it a knockoff? It's fire. Is it a huh? knockoff? Um, no. My, uh, my hair place got it for me for Christmas. Your hair place is getting you presents. Yeah, they uh, you know they send you a little Merry Christmas. You know what I mean? It's kind of nice. Wow, a little care package. I'm yeah. one of their VIPs. So, when did they send that? Like, what what date did you get it? Do you remember? Um, it was just like for Chris. I don't know. No, I don't know. 
It's always interesting the timeline there. Sometimes I've gotten those packages on like December 29th. I'm like, Christmas is over. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's, that's on their part. They fucked that up. But then I've also gotten them on like November 30th. I'm like, can I not even enjoy my turkey? What the hell's going on? Yeah, they can never hit the mark. I think it was like a December like 7th thing. Not bad. No, it was perfect. I was like, yeah. wow, I'm never using this shit, though. Thanks for nothing. Except for this Stanley Cup. I know. Well, I was like, I don't, when am I going to use this, honestly? Like, I used, to, I used to be a guy that was just drinking out of, like, a water bottle, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah. You've been through that. You've been through that water bottle phase. And I'm like, Giant. you just throw this around, throw it in your car, throw it in your bag. Like, it's not, like, high maintenance. Fuck it. Yep. But then you get a Stanley and it's like, oh, dude, this is kind of an event right here. Mm-hmm. Keeps and it, it cold. stays so cold. And the coffee, you throw coffee in a Stanley or a Yeti. I haven't done crazy. anything. I haven't done it's anything amazing. besides it water. Sounds, it sounds stupid to say because that's what it's designed for. But still, the fact that you can throw coffee, hot coffee into a Yeti or a Stanley and then, you know, be riding around your car, come back to it like an hour and a half later or whatever. You take a drink, you're like, damn. This isn't like lukewarm. Like, this is warm. Yeah. It is amazing. Your timeline of coffee enjoyment just goes uh, through the roof when you got one of those. I'm scared to put anything in it besides water. Why? Because then then I got to clean it. You have coffee in the morning, water at night. It's like, uh, there's a lot of shit going on there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, see, I'm not really big on cold water or hot coffee. Like, I'll drink it just normal room temp on some weird shit. Can't drink room temperature coffee. Bro, I am right now. Not Bro, I'll, I'll, I'll make coffee and then I won't finish it in the pot. It'll sit there for like a day. And I'll come back the next day and drink the rest of the pot. Is that weird? Horrible. Really? Yeah. You don't even throw it in the microwave for a quick 30? I'm not going to lie to you, dude. I don't even have a microwave here. (laughs) (laughs) I haven't needed one once. I was like, I'll get one. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I can go to the store and get one. But there hasn't been one time where I'm like, man, I really need to put that in the microwave. (laughs) Do you have an air fryer at least? Nothing, dude. Wow. I'm just rocking just uh, like oven. Stove, stovetop oven. Stovetop. Yeah. You can yeah, play the stovetop. Yeah. Throw it, throw it in the pan. Good to go. Stovetop will play. Definitely. All That's day. That's mostly where I do my shit. Get a cast iron. Let's talk. Dude, it's over, but I'll beat the hell out of a, like a cast iron pan. Cause I, 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 when I like cook stuff, dude, I go like highest level of heat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't slow cook, bro. I'm all, I'm guns blazing. How guy is go. that? Just like, make yeah. it hot! Except my coffee! Yeah. Well, I just, like, want it to be done quick. So I'm like, hi, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. It gets too smoky in here. I smoke the place out. And that's without even being having a smoker. Like, Oh, like when you cook the whole place is, yeah, that's, that happens every time I cook anything. My whole entire, I'm like, this place could burn down. Yeah. I ripped yeah. my smoke detector off the wall, though. Not Who helping. hasn't done that, you know? It's like... It's, a, it's, it's crazy. I'm like, what do I have to do to, like... Okay, it's beeping. It's so annoying that I'm going to kill myself. I change the battery. It still beeps. Still beeping. Take a baseball bat to it. I'm like, after, after I change the battery, the beeps are over, right? No. Nope. They're so just beginning. It, huh? I said, they're just beginning then. What's the secret with that? Clubhouse, help us out. What, like, honestly, it's, it's, it's more complicated than changing the battery. Jesus Christ, man. Couldn't tell you, man. Not my area. Yeah, that is not your area. And I'm glad it's not. (laughs) I always think about that shit sometimes. I'm like, I wonder if Joey knows how to do that shit. Nah, probably not. Nah. Then I'm in the clear. It's your (laughs) favorite. That's your favorite thing about me. Don't know how to do that shit. Uh, yeah, it's nice actually. It's like a it's like a relief. I'm like, finally, there's another guy that doesn't know how to do shit like me. Thank God. <laughs> uh, let's get to the clubhouse. We got quite a few this week. Um, hot, 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 team, hot. <clears throat> team these guys at gmail.com. Uh, this is from Jacob. Uh, cutting weight. This hit a chord with with a few people here this week. Nice. 
Uh, Jacob says, listening to y'all talking about cutting weight for junior high football made me think of when I was playing fifth grade youth football. We had a kid on the team that had to cut weight. So to cut that weight, his dad put him in garbage bags and in the attic. For context, this is South Louisiana. At the moment, no nobody thought anything of it, but looking back, this seems fucked up. LMAO. I know y'all need to know the outcome, but yes, he made weight and we didn't win a game. <laughs> <laughs> All for not. Uh, uh, yeah, dude. The 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 bags, the tra- I, I, I saw a few of those in my day. I've never bagged Wrestlers. up. I've Wrestlers always wanted to up. wrestlers bag up big time, dude. What's something that's not okay. Talk about eating disorders, bro. Wrestlers, high school wrestlers are going through it, bro. Never met a more miserable person in your life. Why is that? That's all the like that cannot be okay to do. Are they still doing that? I got to cut weight, dude. I think so. Sitting at lunch with a wrestler. He's eating four carrots. Just like tired as fuck. I'm like, are you okay? Are you sure you should be doing this? Got to win right. state, dude. Got to go to the next weight class. I'm like, this is so weird. Yeah. Can you just yeah. wrestle somebody that's your same size? I'm so confused. You sacrifice a lot as a wrestler. Like, your looks. I mean, you're getting beat to shit. Ooh, it's so hard, too. I almost wanted to wrestle to, like, see what the, all the hype was about. Like... Because they were like, dude, our practices are so much harder than anything. And I'm like, I kind of believe it. I do for sure. Because like the it's- heat is cranked. The coaches are crazy. You guys are like just battered and shit. Coming to school the next day, tired. I'm like, but I just don't know how to wrestle. I'm like, what do you do? When I yeah, think it's- of like, we're, we're wrestling. I'm like, so you're like jumping off the ropes and stuff like <laughs> I'm like, how do you get there? Hey, hey, jumping off the stage at a high school gym. <laughs> right yeah, on the dude, mat. I would wrestle if it was like that. Right. Coming out in like <laughs> masks and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can really beef up high school wrestling. Just come out to like songs and everybody has a nickname. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Get those numbers going there. Right. But it was always just conditioning. You're beating each other to hell. You're wearing trash bags. You can't eat. Their practices were always like four hours long. I feel like like they would be this time of year and it would be pitch black outside. They'd still be like in the blockhouse, like shooting each other and everything. I'm like, what is th- this is insane. I felt like there are no rules, but did they run? Did they do cardio? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did they? Yeah. Like it, on the mat, were they running back and forth? They were like, they would do like laps around the mat. Just continuously. And then they would like wrestle and spar and everything in between. And do, I mean, stare, like they do stadium stairs, everything. <laughs> Dude, wrestlers in crew neck sweatshirts. Ooh. <laughs> what hey, was re- that about? Wrestlers and just the gray sweatshirts slash sweatpants. Yeah. Heather Gray. And, and wrestlers? How come there wasn't like a swaggy wrestler ever, though? You know, they're all just like grit. Don't need it, man. It's not what it's about. No flash. No, no flash. flash. Hey, no flash. I'll fire. Danny Rojas was pretty swaggy. Was he? He was a, he was a wrestler. Yeah. Okay. He's okay, more so. He wasn't like. He just had a hint of flash. Like he yeah. was a cat, like on foot, like even for football, like. He was a cow that would wear all white cleats. Yeah, we're we're all kind of wearing like, you know, a little, a little bit of black, a little bit of mix of, you know. The all white was uh, ahead of its time if you were doing that. Yeah, he was. <laughs> uh, from Tim. What's your street ball name? Does everyone not have a street ball name? Imagine my shock when I was hooping up with my new college buddies freshman year. We're still kind of feeling each other out and getting to know each other. And when I asked them what their street ball name is, no one else had one. Mine is soft serve. I worked at an ice cream shop in high school. When I told them with a completely straight face, they all burst out laughing. I wasn't expecting that because I thought it was normal to have one. What's your street ball name? Slap my ass with a soft serve ice cream cone that has a perfect curl on top. Yes, dude. That guy gets it, man. I mean, everybody gets it, but the the perfect curl is so clubhouse. That's a soft serve is a great nickname. Like it a lot. I never had one, man. I just pretended I was like one of the one of the guys on the N one mixtape. Yeah, I never had one either. 
We didn't this, street ball like that, man. I wish I had one. Yeah, we all, <laughs> we weren't creative enough. We just copied. You know, <laughs> we were just fucking uh who's the dude who did the what was it spider something? Hot sauce. Spiderweb. Hot yeah, hot sauce. Hot and all sauce that. is nice. Hot sauce yeah. is nice. And that's another great maybe that's a key. Just get two words from food and Coney dog. Chili dog. Chili cheese. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. <laughs> PB and J. Nah, too many, too much, too much. Peanut butter would be okay. <laughs> we're just saying food that we're hungry for now. <laughs> Bread pudding. I'm like scrambled eggs with a little bit of cheese in between some Texas toast. Oh, yeah. mignon. You're just hungry, bro. You're not thinking about <laughs> nicknames anymore. <laughs> Did you ever have a nickname growing up? Did it did like just Joey dog? It was just yeah. I mean, it was just me. You didn't like nobody ever said, dude. Nope. What, am I the first person to to give you a nickname, Molinard? <laughs> well, I don't really count those. Like I said, you know, people would call me like Mol. It's just it's so stupid. Molo. I didn't want to say yeah. I didn't want to say there was never a cool one though. What was your Hell fourth no. grade football nickname? I didn't play in fourth grade. God damn it, dude. You yep. missed out on that? I know. Did you ever think about what would it have been? I'd like to think that would have been like Stallion or something. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. That's, I just needed a direction to go in. Now we, now we got it. But that was like... What that was, was yours again? Bullet. <laughs> That's not bad. I know. Fast. I was like, I thought about it the other day. I was like, that's kind of still plays. Fast hurts people. Right. I was like, it's short, it's quick, but that was a big moment for me, dude. Like, I didn't. Hey, <clears throat> the font on your helmet could be cool, like sleek, you know, like, like yeah. the bolts flying. That's yeah. some more deeper shit. But uh, this is from Joey. Ben's Super Bowl party. Hey, fellas, I just wanted to know if Ben's plans on throwing a Super Bowl party where he doesn't watch any of the game, ideally just playing nothing but music on YouTube. If so, hit me with the Addy. (laughs) Slap my ass while yelling Trapaholics. Biatch. That's literally my Super Bowl party. Can you invite all these people? Game's not on. Nah, just music. Just music on YouTube. With a bunch of tabs up on a laptop. Like You can watch it if you want on your phone, I guess, but... Have fun finding the Wi-Fi password. Hey, it's just remixes with music over the top of like the 90s Super Bowls. <laughs> like it's a literal Super Bowl party. Super Bowl party. We're just watching all the old games with music. <laughs> I did do that one time for the Super Bowl. I went to a weird Super Bowl party. It was like my friends and we watched the Super Bowl, but music was playing and the game was just on mute. You would have hated it, but it like kind of was nice at the same time. I don't know. I don't think so. As long as the game was on, like, I don't, you know, I'm I guess it's yeah. here as a commentary. It's like that Super Bowl party I had at that apartment a few years back, like the original Niners Chiefs Super Bowl. Like we weren't hearing anything. We just had it playing on the projector. That, so was, I could a good, be down. that was a good party. I could be down. Uh, from Charlie, the big three minus Chris Bosch. These guys, what's up, boys? Just finished up listening to your podcast and had to get this out while my blood was still boiling. In response to Ben's question, the sports player I hate has got to be Chris Bosh. How is that T-Rex looking dude part of the big three? Are you kidding? You have LeBron, Dwayne Wade, and the third is Chris Bosh. Reminds me of the three-headed dragon meme with two mean dragons and one goofy-ass dragon. Uh. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Uh, it goes on to say, uh, it's a long one here. So he's kind of, I'm trying to see. He kind of just vents about that. Says that felt good to get out. I'm glad you guys asked. Petty Brewski. So you secretly love Chris Bosh, but you got to remember Chris Bosh was like different before he came to Miami. Remember he was like, he was like dreads, like always dunking it. Chris Bosh. Remember that? Yep. I was like, dude, Chris Bosh is a problem. Like, I never, like, watched any of his games because, like, I feel like the Raptors weren't on a lot. But I was like, that guy is, like, Kevin Garnett type. Then he went to Miami, and I was like, oh, shit. That's kind of a – him and Dwayne Wade is crazy. And then LeBron, I was like – but then he had to, like – I guess he had to switch up his style a little bit. Like, once you – your hair is what what your personality is. Yeah. 
You cut your hair from crazy to conservative. You're like, you're going to start just hitting some baseline J's. He kind of got relegated to the, 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 the baseline jumper and just kind of a rebounding guy. But he was kind of still doing his thing. Chris Bosh, Heat, 18 and 8. Who's not taking that, you know? Kind of like a put back dunk every now and then. Like, all right. All right. Dude, the amount of things. My dog does this thing where he um, goes and barks (laughs) at the back door, but then backs away when you open up the door and then it's a whole, it's a whole thing. So, um, all right, let's, uh, let's end with this one here. Damn, that's long. Um, damn, that's even longer. Here we go. Uh, fellas part two from Benjamin Davis. Yo, I'm from the dude. I'm the dude from last summer that printed out the NCAA 06 Desmond Howard cover and glued it to his graduation cap. My buddy and I are finalists in an NFL analytics competition and we get to present our project at the combine later this month. I've never been to Indy before. What are some things that my buddy, my wife and I should do while we're in town? Well, I'm kind of more interested on, I mean, not more interested, but I'm kind of, Wondering about what this analytics competition is. That's Maybe insane. you could email back what? and hear about that. Um, yeah, but I mean, the combine, man. I mean, like, I've tried to get Ben out there with me before, but now he's out in LA, so he can't. But I mean, all the same shit, like, you're going to hear, you know, Elmo's, Harry and Izzy's, uh, a bunch of the NFL people, like, the NFL world essentially goes to Prime 47 almost every night. That's like, oh, late night yeah. Prime party. 47 is like the spot where you go to, like, if you want to, like, see, like, the, the, like, top picks, they're, they're going to, like, everybody's at Prime 47. It's actually yeah. insane. All the media people, like, just a bunch. Just so check that out if you want. Um, if the Pacers are in town, hit that up. Pacers games are super cool, pretty affordable. Um, they did a whole bunch of renovations for the All Star game. So it's really, really like popping over there. Uh, Commission Row is a new place that's right there by Gamebridge. That's a really good steakhouse with a speakeasy in the basement. What? Um, yeah. Which is dope. Um, it just opened up, but it's super good. Me and, me and my wife went there. Um, so, you know, just steakhouses, man. Check like, out Dave and Buster's. You know, I don't know if you've heard of it. <laughs> Hit up Needler's. Great little yeah. supermarket on Mass Ave. It's- Brew burger, come on, love it. Yep, Mass Ave has a bunch of good bars. But yeah, steak go to Naptown Thrift. Right Just saying, wow, it's a gym right there. Um, yeah. Be- so besides that, absolutely nothing to do. No, I'm just kidding. Hopefully, see you. Um, all right, man. We got a stuff to do. So I yeah, dude. Seems seems like you're it seems like you're kind of in between some things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gotta yeah, get out of here. Gotta gotta take the boy on a walk and to the park and and whatnot. So, yeah, bro. Uh, hopefully, walk this baby out. But yeah, um, happy Super Bowl week, Super to everybody. Bowl week. Enjoy your Super Bowl parties. Hey, Clubhouse, or you got a Super Bowl party? Get the remote and you know throw on YouTube and throw on the uh, Packers Broncos Super Bowl for a bit. That you know, if maybe it's before the yeah. game, do something like that. Pre Super Bowl, Super Bowl. For maybe in the maybe in the comments or the or email, just what you ate during the Super Bowl. What was your what were what were your Super Bowl stats? What's the spread? Yeah, What's Super Bowl sp- stats. Super Bowl stats. How many peanuts did you eat? What you you woke up and ate what? Did you did you starve yourself the whole day until like six thirty? Yeah. Let Don't us know, bro. Off. What's the game plan? What's the strategy? Yeah. Let us know your that. script. Did you script out the top 15 things you're about to eat? You know? Yeah. <laughs> First <like> 15. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty funny. Might be a sketch. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. You know all the things. Watch us every week on YouTube. Subscribe there for a weekly episode and video uh, that you can see us and follow along with. Uh, follow us on all your podcast platforms uh benedict polizzi on social joey molinero on social tiki's are in the bios for all of our shows orlando um, february so 28th those. um all mine are almost on sale green bay just went on sale everything else is official joey coming up in april and may 
Um, cool. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, Dwayne Bow. Adam Archuleta. <laughs> bye bye. TG seventy one.